I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I ain't, I'm mad my lights fell down, man. I guess it was getting too hot in this motherfucker. Either that or they bumped the wall, but it's been like 90 degrees. I'm talking about I'm losing a pound a day just sitting around the house. It's just so damn hot, this motherfucker. We got Don Carter, badge number 5020. No, 5025. I apologize. Now, we are the only channel that does a suspect board. And as of right now, we do have people split into their perspective and respect of my bad, not perspective, respective organizations. We got Zion over here on top of Tariq and Braden's operation with Pinky and L up under them and then Roman, but Roman is locked up. Of course, we got Tasha, but Tasha's in. We don't know where the hell she's at. She's at Shop Mart <laughs> messing with an old white man. But then we got Don Carter, and that's what we're talking about right now. Don Carter, up under him, he has Monet Tejada, he has Drew Tejada, and he kind of has 0.5 of Kane Tejada because Kane Tejada works with Noma. Now, the reason Monet and Drew are up under there is because if you remember the end of episode five, he brought these two into his operation after he unalived a couple of people where they were setting up one of Noma's drops. Now, we haven't seen Cousin Janet in a while, but I believe since Janet told on Monet back in the day, she'll tell again. You know what I mean? Once a teller, always a teller. Now, Kamal Tate is still living. We see Rashad Tate is back. Now, the reason we're talking about these two is because there's been some you know, saying some words, some chatter in the power universe, the power community, that maybe Kamal Tate is going to be unalive by either someone that Don Carter tells him to, which could be Nico, which could be Kane, but Kane is over there. Could be Nico, it could be Kane, it could be Drew before he gets locked up. Or Kamal could survive, so we aren't sure. But one thing we know is Don Carter called us well not all of us i know kendall was the first person that said that he was crooked me i didn't want to believe that he was crooked you know i have a, a small heart it's not the biggest it's an ice box where my heart used to be but i always said we need one person that was a legitimate character we had rsj rsj turned out to be a big ass crook also he was okay with the ponzi scheme as long as he got his money so ethically that's bad morally that's bad so right now, Don Carter, this slick devil here, he got the whole dope game in his hands. I'm talking about Brooklyn and Manhattan in his hands. He got Brooklyn and Manhattan in his hands. He's got Brooklyn and Manhattan in his hands. He got all of New York in his hands. Because remember, he can cross jurisdictions. He can go across lines. Kamal Tate can't remember that. That's why he said, I got the whole city on lock. He can move everywhere. So, of course, he may have ties with Zion because Kamal been investigating Roman. Kamal Roman. Kamal told who? Don, hey, Roman has gave me information. But Don Carter crooked as can be, said, I don't want that information. And the reason we found out he didn't want that information is because he is actually the head of all the street shit. So not only does he not want this information because he wants to potentially get in contact with Zion, have Zion giving him his cut. He wants to get in contact with Noma, which is why they brought in old buddy, uh, Obi, whatever the fuck his name was, RIP to him, we wanted to bring him in so we could find out who was running this organization over here. Also, he didn't know that Davis was smashing Noma. Even though Davis started smashing Noma after that, he was trying to get Davis on his side to try to figure out how to get Monet and them up on the team. But now he's going to find out that Davis is smashing Noma and he's going to realize that Davis is really dirty. So if I can get my hands on Davis, I can get my hands on Noma, which is going to be bad because Kane is trying to get at Noma still. But if he finds out that Davis is fucking where he might backdoor Davis 
by working with Don Carter, who already has his mother and his brother up under his operation, giving him a cut. Are we following? If not, I can slow it down. But right now I'm in the zone. Now, with that being said, we got Diana. Now, this is all going to tie back into Don Carter. Diana still falls up under Noma because she's at the school working. Because guess what? Effie is right up under Noma. Diana is still a part of Noma's organization. Now, that's going to be a problem for Monet because she just found out that Diana is pregnant. And she wants Diana and the baby to be taken care of, even though she knows it's by Tariq, a piece of shit. Now. She wants the whole family to stay together, but that's where the issue lies because Kane doesn't like Tariq. Tariq is in a whole nother organization, but he fucks with Diana and Monet is in a whole nother organization up under Don Carter, who's trying to be on top of everyone's organization. See, it all ties back. So for Don Carter, he can't have Kane beefing with Tariq over Diana because he got the mother working for him now we know that drew's got to prove himself and get up under don carter's organization and start knocking people off but we see in the trailer that drew's going to go to jail which is going to be bad news for don carter and the reason that's going to be bad news for don carter is because monet's in the street we know monet cannot do hand-to-hand -hand transactions monet ain't capable of that now if you give monet a couple of bricks you give her some workers boom she's more of a hey this is what you're going to be designated to do. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't do the hand-to-hand. -hand. She don't know what the day-to-day -day operation is because we know last season, well, in the first part of season six, Kane told Monet, hey, the game ain't the same since you got shot. Now, she got shot, what they thought was Tariq, because that's who Diana blamed it on, but it really turned out to be Tariq's mama, Tasha. But now Tasha ain't in the picture. She's hidden. And all of this got messed up because Diana took a note over to Tommy Egan. Now, we're not sure if we're going to see Tommy Egan or not in season six, but we potentially will. We may be technically, but we're not for sure. So with that being said, that's still another person Don Carter might need to watch out for because everyone was trying to wor uh, wonder how is Don Carter going to be in this situation? Now, Tommy could come in. Tommy could wipe him off because we know Tommy don't give a damn about police. Tommy could wipe him off, go back to Chicago. But that's just me thinking further ahead and trying to figure out how we can connect the story. But let's backtrack a little bit. Now, we talked about the beef between Kane and Tariq. And this is all because initially they said that Tariq was the one that shot Monet, but Diana retracted her statement. Now, we know it was Tasha. Tariq and Diana have both spoken to each other, and they mentioned the baby, which is right here, the little bitty baby, the devil baby right here, a Tatata St. Patrick. One of the worst babies you can have. Now, Don Carter, who we're talking about, he needs to make a decision. Is he going to make a move on whoever Tariq and them are working for? Because remember, he hates Tariq because he can smell the stench of his father, James St. Patrick, a.k.a. Jamie, a.k.a. Ghost, on his body. Now, he knows Tariq is working for somebody because when he confronted him at the school, he says, I know what you're doing. I'm onto your trail. Now, Kamal Tate is also into this, but Kamal Tate has been reserved. But we've seen Kamal Tate and Don Carter moving up on somebody. So is Kamal going to be on the line? We're not sure yet, but that leads us into this. And since we're talking about the beef amongst everybody, if you look in the trailer, the first thing we see in the trailer after Tariq, boom. Don Carter pulling the Thule out on who? Monet Tejada, pregnant Diana, and baby Tejada St. Patrick, and Tariq. Y'all give me a chance. I'm a connected dots. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I do the dirty work. So all y'all got to do is sit back and say, damn, that boy's good. <laughs> that boy good. That boy good, ain't he? So we got Don Carter creeping up on Monet Tejada. We know that Monet works for him. What will I tell you? Diana is still up under Noma. Kane, is, I mean, not Kane, Tariq is up under Zion at the moment. I got to figure out how to get these two Negroes up under me so I can get my cut from everybody. Uh-oh.
Now, this is where it gets interesting. Now, while I was doing all of that, breaking the shit down on the board, in the back of my mind, because I can think in at least, I can have four thoughts going. After four thoughts going on in my brain, it gets kind of discombobulated and I get confused. So after four thoughts, while I was breaking all that down, I was trying to think of how this scene right here would come about. That's why I wanted to end it on the beef between Kane and Tariq to try to figure out how to get Diana up under this. I really have no clue what the hell's going on here. I have no clue how we even get to this situation. Oh, shit, y'all. We got a celebrity in the building. We got a celebrity in the building. No label to label. My dog didn't hit 30,000 subscribers over there. My boy working, working. My boy working, working. Yeah. Wah. Yeah. It's your boy No Label to Label. The Russian's crib. Now, let me see something. Because, I mean, I, I, well, we're talking about dying, but I got to try to link this. So Diana has on the, the jacket that goes all the way up around the neck. Is this? Is that the same jacket there? No, that don't look like the same jacket. Hold on, let me see. This looks more like what she was wearing. She's in the kitchen. But this is Don Carter story. We'll we'll get to this on Diana's. Excuse me. We'll do a little we'll, we'll do a little digging on Diana's story. We got to talk about Don Carter right now. So, what would make Don Carter pull a gun out on Monet? Diana and Tariq. What were they possibly doing in here? Yeah, you, you might be right, because this jacket does look like it's cut off. Let me see. I got the picture. I could zoom in some. Uh... Oh, yeah, man, you know, I'm doing different, you know, I got to do different shows, man. I can't just sit around and wait on power. But, yeah, they look like the same jacket. Hey. All right, hear me out. Hear me out, y'all. Hear me out. Put a one in the chat if you agree. Put an eight in the chat if you disagree. All right. Let's say I'm Tariq. Let's say I'm Tariq. Hands up, right? What I'm doing in this situation, put a one if you agree, an eight if you disagree. If I'm in this situation, I don't want no problem, Don. I don't want no problems. I'm pushing Monet into Don. So he can pop, pop, pop. He can take Monet out like a motherfucking NSYNC song. Bye, bye, bye. I'm pushing Monet into Don. I'm reaching for the waist and pop, pop, pop. I'm firing mine off too. But I can get rid of Monet and I can get rid of Don. Do you agree with that? Or you you just had holding your hands up, man. Fuck that. This is the finale, man. I'm going out. I'm going out trying to trying to survive. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm pushing Monet. Pop, pop, pop. He shoots Monet. Now, Diana, get him. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Look how close that gun is, man. Okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go through that cheek. She's going to be like 50. Going to go through the mouth. Probably the neck, maybe. Maybe the chest. But we'll be all right. We got to get out of here. This shit's called ghosts. This shit ain't called the Tejadas. 
This shit ain't called uh Momo. This is this, this is goes. I gotta survive. Plus, I'm not trying to give Don Carter 40% of nothing. Fuck that. I'm pushing Monet, man. The hell with that. I gotta survive, man. <laughs> shit it sound like the movie hey for real look monet did y'all forget monet put a gun in your head and told you to first of all listen we in the power universe so just take it for what it is we in the power universe how is monet gonna put a gun to my head and not allow me the opportunity to be a deadbeat dad you have to like come on you can't put a gun to my head and say hey my daughter's pregnant okay so what? You have to give me the opportunity. It's my legal right. It is my God-given right to be a deadbeat if I want to. How you know I want to be with Diana? Diana will be all right as a single mother. Then his grandma, but she put a gun to his head. I know we supposed to be talking about Don Carter, but I'm thinking about my life. Like it sounds bad, but it's the power universe. We're all adults here. Push Monet into him. Bop, bop, bop. He shoots Monet. Boom. I use Diana as a shield. Like grab Diana. Bop, bop, bop. Now the baby gone too. Now hey, he should be empty by the end. Then you got John Don. Hey, you gotta go fight Don now. One on one. RC said, "Elbow the gut, man. If you Tariq in this situation, you can't elbow the gut. If you try to elbow the gut from here, you're gonna get shot in the head. <laughs> you can't elbow the gut from here. This is too far to elbow the gut. <laughs> he gonna see that coming from a mile away. You're dead." Hey, for real, fuck all that. All right. Let's get serious. Let's get back focused, man. Y'all got me wilding out. All right. What could be the reason for them to be together? It's a family reunion and Don Carter shows up. Uh, it, it can't be nothing serious because I know it's a show. But what in this what what in this clip is making it like unbelievable for you? Like what what in this clip is making it unbelievable for you? Okay, I get it. We know they wear fashion, they wear designer. That's it. But come on, man, we in the streets with it. What in this what in this uh, in this photo is making this this unbelievable? Like come on, man. He tracked him down behind Salim. Oh, so they went back to get the body of Salim? Oh, maybe that's why Diana's in the kitchen. Oh. Maybe that's why Diana's in the kitchen. They went back to go get the Salim body. But wait, does Diana know that Salim is dead? Maybe that's when Diana goes back to the house. That's may, that might be right here. So they find out that Salim is dead. Tariq, Diana, and Monet, they go over to find the body. But Don been sitting on the house. Don been sitting on the house, which is why he pops up on them. Oh, okay. I see what you guys are getting at. All right. These three, they went back. Salim is dead because Diana did ask Tariq, what about Salim? He said, I don't know. I ain't seen him. Boom. Tariq says, oh, no, I accidentally killed him. He's at the house. We got to move the body. These three go over there. Don Carter had already found out that Salim is dead. They've been watching the house. He pops up on them. I knew you motherfuckers would come back. That's why we never put in the newspaper that Salim was dead. We don't want no trouble. Nah, you're going to get trouble. Matter of fact, you already work for me. Tariq, who the fuck you work for? And Diana, who you work for? You niggas work for me. Okay. 
I like that. I like that. They tracked him because of Salim. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Salim ties all of this together. Hey, when I have it on the screen like this, can y'all read that? Or is that too small for y'all? Because on my screen, I can't read it. So I don't know how it looks on y'all's screen. Let me see. Oh, no, y'all can read it on there. Because I'll be putting it on the, the bigger screen because I can't see it. <laughs> see, I'll be putting it on this because I can't see it on my screen and I'm looking at it. Y'all y'all can see it when it's on this screen right here on the smaller one? Okay, see, I didn't know. I never, because when I'm looking at it, it's, it's small, and it's, like, just bunched up. I can't see it. Okay, cool. So I ain't got to make it bigger. Y'all can see it. All right, bet. So that's why you be seeing me zooming all the way in, because I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But all right, cool, cool, cool. All right, bet. We learning something every single day now. Don finds Monet and Tariq and Diane at Salim House trying to move the body. All right, bet. Now, there was a scene I had to cut it out because, you know, the stars was on my ass. So right in between here, between Drew and Tariq, there is one scene where it shows Don at the office. Now, if you look closely, I took this uh, this screenshot here because it looks like they're either celebrating something or remembering somebody. Now, there, there's been talk about maybe Kamal Tate is going to be unalived. And also, we see that Kamal Tate and Don Carter, they're moving together. So maybe Don Carter... They set him up during the shooting, and they're here, you know what I'm saying? Man, Cabal Tate, he was a good one. He was really helping us out. Because this isn't anybody that's on the task force. This is all some Joe Smoes. We don't know who none of these people are. We dealt, who, who's seen this guy before? Who's seen Barry Andrews before? We've never seen Barry Andrews before. We've never seen Catherine Smalls before. We've never seen Elizabeth Tice before. We've never seen Andre uh, Andre Williams before. Who are these people? See, here's Don and Kamal. So maybe it's like, hey, Kamal worked with them, and he's given a shot because, hey, man, Kamal died in the field. Hmm. The guy in the white is Don Carter's boss. And he don't look like no boss. He look like a regular employee. I'm trying to see what this these pictures are, but it's a little grainy. All right, so he got a... Uh, when the episode come out, I'm going to see what the hell they got on these damn computer screens, though. You know that. If there's any documents that are out, you know we reading the documents. If I can see a clear shot of these screens when the episode drop, you know we looking at these screens, too. Because I want to see what these are, especially with the number four there. So it's for the evidence.
Got that trash ass Knicks hat. So what could be the reason for them in here taking shots on the clock? Hmm. Because the only time you really... Well, he's the only person with a shot glass, too. Hmm. Now, they had to be showing this for a reason. They're not just going to randomly put Don Carter in here toasting. Y'all think it's a death or it's a celebration? Because I had it. I had it. I grabbed this still. I said, man, there's, there's got to be something significant behind this. Because you ain't just taking a shot at work. Hey, yeah. Like, it was a good day today. Shots. No, hell no. Why are you the only one taking shots, too? It's either a celebratory moment or an inner remembrance. See, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's coming down here and he's saying, hey, y'all, uh, I heard, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but What a good always gotta die young. <laughs> I hate to be the one to tell y'all this, but I gotta be the <laughs> come on, Paul. <laughs> Me. Mo, come on. We're out serving a warrant. <laughs> when we entered into the restaurant, we ended up getting flanked. <laughs> we all drew our weapons, and uh, all I can remember is I heard Kamal say, I got the left. Mo said he, gonna, he got point. If you don't know what point means, that means Mo was in the front. Oh, I remember Mo saying he got the point, and he said, freeze, put the gun down. And then I heard gunshots go off about 10 to, to 12 rounds. And then all I heard from Mo was reloading, reloading. I got three. By that time, Mo had took out three. Kamal was laying down cover fire while Mo was reloading. Mo reloaded. He took out another four. And then I got up and laid down cover fire also. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Mo has seven bodies within the span of two minutes. Oh, I didn't hear from Kamal after that. <laughs> and then all I heard was Mo say, officer down. Officer down. He right over it in. He right over it in. He right over it in. I said, officer down. Wait. It was, I'm, 
I'm not down. And Mo was on the radio. Oh, come on. Oh, they got come on. Mo took out seven of the perps by himself. Kamal went for the eighth, and the eighth got the shot off and got him in the neck. I went over there and I applied pressure to the neck. I applied pressure as much as I could, but he did that. Stay with me, Kamal. It's the only thing I can remember myself saying to stay with me, Kamal. Stay with me, Kamal. And Mo was over here making sure none of the. Oh. None of the oppositions came in and did any more shooting, any retaliatory shooting. <laughs> this was for Kamal. This was for Kamal. If it wasn't for Mo, I wouldn't have made it out of there. Oh. Well, I come on. He's a good guy. <laughs> oh. 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 Now, guess what? Follow me. I'm making sense. Follow me. I'm making sense. Give me a second. Give me a second. Where is it at? Where is it at? Come on, come on, come on, Mo. Boom. Here we go. Boom. Rashad Tate. Your brother Kamal Tate died today. Rashad Tate's here in the coroner's office. They got the body diagram right there. Mo, then, Mo you done did it again. Mo, you done did it again. Mo, you done did it again. Mo, then did it again. Rashad, what do you mean my brother's dead? Well, if you want us to, we could bring Don Carter in. He could tell you the story again. Now, you need to be praising Mo because Mo was the one that held it down. Hey, what do I know? What do I know? What do I know? Hey, hey, Rashad, it's your brother's dead. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So I'm thinking when he's in there toasting, It's to let everybody know how good of a man Kamal was. Let me uh, go ahead and add that. Ah, damn. That was a good one, man. I ain't got a I ain't got a good cry in in a while, man. You know, when I went when I went to go get my drinks and re-up, that's pretty much the end of Don Carter right there. We'll we'll end that because I mean there's not much else for Don. And we got we already out almost two hours, so I mean that's pretty much good, but Damn. Don Carter, man. He's a dirty mother effer. Watch your mouth. But I fuck with it, though. Man, they could can, they can do something with this last season. For real, for real. P. 
people forget that the OG power has parallel to the power spinoffs. True. Uh, the reason they're trying to unalive Kamal is because he's messing up everything that um, Don is working for. Remember, Don didn't want him to do any further investigation because he's going to start uncovering things when he was about to go follow Monet, follow Tariq, start asking too many questions because Don already had alternative motive where he was going to get Monet and potentially anyone else to work up under him so he can get that cut within the streets. But man, uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We got Braden, we got Kane, we got Don. Uh, we'll we'll talk about Tariq next, and then uh, from there, because everyone else is really like minuscule roles. with Diana, Effie, we got Drew going to jail. Diana pregnant. We don't really know much about that. Uh, shit, that's really it. They show Davis like once or twice. <laughs> 